Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas. Good evening and welcome to the Thomas and Mack Center just off the Vegas Strip for our main event of the evening. 12 rounds in the heavyweight division between these two great warriors. He's on his way to the ring and you can just tell what kind of night he intends this to be. He's just brimming with confidence. He's really keyed in for this one. You can see it as he makes his walk to the ring. still ahead of him here round one of 12. Teddy you just look at the physical stature of these two guys and it's clear to see one fighter is much stronger than the other but if you're the fighter who's not as strong you still got to go out there and win the fight how do you do it? Well first of all you yell at your manager for making this fight <laughs> and then the second thing you do is you make sure that you have good shoes on good track shoes and you use them. Defense just covering up down low. Now that's some fine work right there by bad intentions. And you see he turned defense into offense, comes back with the counter punch. And that's exactly what he brings to the game. He makes you miss, he makes you pay, and he makes you think twice about throwing a punch later on. I guess it's already a sign of things to come. They are not wasting any time toe-to-toe -to -toe in round one. If this is an appetizer, please, please bring on the meal. Well-targeted counterpunch by bad intentions. Ninety seconds to go here in this round. Good looking counter punch. You know, we only show up when it's time to watch them do their thing for the fight, but they're really working at it day in and day out just to make weight. What's so tough about making weight in boxing? Well, it can weigh you down. I mean, it takes discipline. And all of a sudden, it'll... Holy cow! He did not see that right hand at all. He may want to tie up. Come on now, guys. Come on. Keep busy. Keep busy. Some fine fundamentals, good counterpunch. Nice mousetrap day, let him in beautifully. He didn't use cheese, he used distance. A stinging counterpunch after some fine defense by bad intentions. Gets rid of that body shot. Final 10 seconds. Watch your pinkies, Jeff. Back to fight action as a new round is underway. Of course, in that last round, it was fairly one-sided. He was hit pretty hard, and now he has to overcome that here. Yeah, you don't have to be Notre Dame to know that. I mean, everybody saw, you know, he got staggered, his knees buckled, did a little dance there. But what you have to really know now is know why you got hit and correct that immediately. Frustrating his opponent with great defense. There it is! Just did a big uppercut. He's in bad shape. 
How about a return to sender with the left? Oh, and there you go. He is damaged on, badly there. On, he may hit the floor. He was on wobbly legs not long ago. Now he's got his feet back under him. What is that, a chin or is that Mount Rushmore? Oh, he just misses with that headshot. Carries that punch intended for the head. Oh, he took some damage, but he gave some back with the right hand. Halfway through round number two. Blocks away that headshot. The tactical game paying off. You can see the counter punch. Yeah, you see the counter punch, but you know what I see? I see a little tentativeness now in him because he's afraid to let anything go because when he misses, bang, he gets caught. Dismiss his opponent's shot and then comes back with an uppercut. <laughs> comes right back at him with a left hand. <laughs> Seconds to go here in the second round. Good block there by bad intentions. So here we are at the end of the round. And this is the only chance these guys get to not throw at each other. Yeah, this is a break. You know, a lot of times fighters find their own way of taking break during the fight, during the round. These guys really need this minute rest. Good job by drawing in his opponent and then landing the counterpunch by bad intentions. Oh, very nice. Smart counterpunch there. Yeah, that's beautiful. You make the guy miss, you make him pay. He has walked through bullets, bazookas, and bombs, and he's still standing in there tonight, Teddy. Yeah, this is a testament, not just to the physical makeup. I know a lot of people at home are going to say, wow, what kind of bone does he have inside that chin? But it's his mind, too. He's making a choice, just like you do in life and other things. He's making a choice to deal with this. A lot of guys would have given in already. Good way to protect the midsection. Takes one to give one. He comes back with a right hand. Tucks those elbows in, blocks the body shot. Reaching the halfway mark of this round. That was not well targeted by bad intentions. by bad intentions. Good block.
blocked by bad intentions. And another right hand comes in. Nice block by Bad Intentions. What a good counter punch by Bad Intentions. Ten seconds remaining in this round. We come to the end of this round. Teddy, a round in which maybe a lot of trainers don't like to see because it was a very busy round for both guys. Well, it depends. What kind of style, what kind of strength your fighter has, or even what kind of weaknesses. If I had a guy who likes to box, who likes to counterpunch, I want a guy coming at him. Not with a lot of TNT in his gloves, but coming forward where my guy is well suited. He can pick him off a little bit. Fighters do. Pulls the trigger right away after taking one. <laughs> Able to show you his blocking ability. Drawing in his opponent and then landing the counter punch by bad intentions. Good defense upstairs to stay away from that offensive assault. Halfway through round number four. And a big right hand by Bad Intentions. How about a return to sender with the left hand? Pulls the trigger right away with the left hand after getting tagged himself. Able to defend and then go on the offensive. Bad intentions is really in a groove right now, landing that straight punch. Well, what he's doing is he's staying outside at the right distance. He's getting his opponent, you know, sort of lean in a little bit, and then, bang, that straight shot is right there. Well-placed three punches landing by bad intentions. Well-placed counter punch by Bad Intentions. Fourth round now with its last 10 seconds. Able to dismiss his opponent's shot and then comes back with an uppercut. Coming to the end of this round. Joe and Teddy with you ringside. Teddy, a round like that where it's a lot of busy activity and both guys being busy. When you were a trainer, are those the kind of rounds that you prefer or do you like the pace to be a little slower? Does it depend on each guy? No, if I have a fighter, I'd rather have a guy fighting a guy that you never see him. <laughs> Leave me the heck alone. And where I'm in control all the time. But the fans love to see a fight like that. <laughs> Able to get away from that headshot with the block. Well, I don't know if he's hip to the idea of becoming a counter puncher, but I get the sense you'd agree with it. Yeah, definitely. I mean, he's got the perfect platform, the perfect form for it. The guy's walking in right now, not moving his head much. He can time him, he can counter him. Nice work with the jab on the outside. 
Boy, he's really working well on the outside, isn't he? Yeah, he's doing a great job of disciplining himself. You know, we talk about power, we talk about speed, we talk about all those virtues, but just controlling himself and making sure he controls the distance, a distance that's got him winning the fight. Well done that time, landing the counter punch. What guts it takes, what commitment it takes to keep up with this kind of a pace. The action's been nonstop. Now, the one thing I can tell you is this is where you don't worry about pace. You don't think about pace. Otherwise, you could not be doing what these guys are doing. They're just going round to round. Teddy, this is one of those moments where you just wish you could pick up the phone and call up the world and say, tune in. Everybody should be watching this, right? I have a cell phone. I might do that right now. <laughs> Start dialing. And there he counters back against his opponent. Fine-looking combination from him now. Well, that's the benefit of combination punching right there, Joe. The first couple missed, but the third, the fourth, they landed. Well, as that round comes to an end, it gives us a moment to kind of reflect on this overall fight. Teddy, my thoughts are pretty clear-cut. This is the kind of fight that just takes on a personality of its own. This is an all-out war. Yeah, this is kind of like watching a guy who's not on a budget. You know, he's spending with both hands. You know, when he goes home, he's going to have no money in his pockets. And when this fight is over, these guys are going to have nothing left in the gas tank, and it's probably not going to a decision. Keep your distance. Dismisses his opponent's headshot. A headshot blocked. Throws a counter punch there. Thought he had his target, but way off to the side with the uppercut. Good looking counter punch. there by bad intentions. Oh, very nice. Smart counter punch there. Yeah, that's beautiful. You make the guy miss, you make him pay. Place counter punch by bad intentions. <laughs> Joe 
Just 10 seconds to go in this round. Well, if the second half of this fight is anything like the first half we just witnessed, then, oh boy, is it going to be fun watching this fight down the stretch. And I don't think it can change. These guys came here with a certain attitude, a certain mindset, and it's not going to be able to change now. There's no way of all of a sudden in mid-fight being able to go to a defensive fight or a different strategy. What you see is what you get, and you're going to get it the rest of the night. And a good three-punch combo by Bad Intentions. Trying to keep his distance, trying to keep his range, but still, you have to be offensive-minded. Yeah, you do. If you're just standing on the outside at the beginning, that's okay, but then your opponent, he's going to walk in on you. There has to be something threatening, something damaging to keep you outside. Stay away from the inside. Way through this round here. Gets rid of that body shot. Able to block that away. It was targeted for his head. Halfway through what is one of the best rounds you'll ever see. Just great action. No, it's unbelievable. I mean, if you love roller coasters, you go to an amusement park. If you want to see left hooks, right hands, every direction, great chins, great endurance, great heart, you come to this fight. You stay right here. Keep your distance. Yeah. Three. Nice block by bad intentions. Good block by bad intentions. Very clever move there. A little defense turns to offense. The counter punch by bad intentions. end to another very entertaining round in what has been a very entertaining fight. A fight where there's just bad intentions. The fight that just doesn't have the feel of a fight that's going to be a decision win for somebody. Looks like somebody's going to get stopped. Right from the beginning, they've been fighting with desperation. Like, going the decision, as you just touched on, has not been in their minds at all. Fine fundamentals, good counter punch. Nice mousetrap day, let him in beautifully. He didn't use cheese, he used distance. Well, we told you it could be this kind of fight, and as advertised thus far. Good block there by bad intentions. Well, he's throwing it, but just missed, isn't landing it. Bad intentions is a pro, but he's not a well-rounded pro because a better level of fighter would be committing to the body more here, wouldn't he, Teddy? Yeah, well, first of all, he would recognize that that's where he's supposed to be going now that his opponent, you know, is taken off a little bit with those fast shoes. No better way to take those shoes off his feet than to go downstairs.
Tucks those elbows in, blocks the body shot. There's no need to be on the inside. Halfway through this round, staying away from those headshots with his defense up top. Plays counter by bad intentions. Well, he took one right there, but then he targeted one right back. Good stuff in the opening two minutes. A minute to go in this round. Keeps his hands up defensively, protecting the head. Locked. Comes right back at him with a left hand. Great fight. I mean, just a great fight. Both guys giving their all back and forth. It doesn't get much better. He got hit, but he sends it right back. Come to the end of this round. Alongside Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. Well, it's a very closely contested fight, isn't it? Yeah, it has been, Joe, but it's going to be up now to the judges. Hopefully they have their eyes wide open because they're going to have to look really closely, not just at the action overall, but who's landed the cleaner, more effective punches. Didn't get it done going to the body there. Exchange, he fires back. Dismisses his opponent's headshot. Fine fundamentals, good counter punch. Reaching the halfway mark of this round. And a smart counter punch by bad intentions. Scores with the combo to the head. Oh, very nice. Smart counter punch there. Yeah, that's beautiful. You make the guy miss, you make him pay. Blocked by bad intentions. That's where he wants to be able to do some damage with his opponent backed up against the ropes. Good block there by bad intentions. Just not there, straight right hand off the mark. So they close out that round. Joe and Teddy with you ringside. Teddy, I know you watch uh, 
very closely how these trainers go about their business. You were under the tutelage of one of the true legends of the game, the great custom option. Yeah, I mean, I was fortunate. Quite honestly, those opportunities, situations, probably don't exist anymore because we've lost a lot of those, you know, really great trainers and managers that boxing was their whole life. I spent seven years with Customato and I learned the nuts and bolts from a physical, technical point of view of what's important to give to a fighter, but the psychological part. To understand the pressures that a fighter is under, the fears that a fighter deals with. And if you don't understand that, all the other things don't mean anything. Because you have to understand how a fighter is feeling to understand why he's behaving or not behaving a certain way. Throws a counter punch there. <laughs> Accurate counter punch by bad intentions. Locked there. A stinging counter punch after some fine defense by Bad Intentions. Bad Intentions as Jab continues to carry the day. He's wanted it, he's got it. In two minutes of non-stop action. Now the final minute has arrived. Good job protecting himself. back against his opponent what a fight what a great great non-stop action fight this has been good look at right hand after he got hit holy cow oh he is stunned he could go down Teddy, what does he need to do right here? He has no balance. His legs aren't underneath him. Well, you know he can't move because he's going to fall on his own or the referee's going to stop it. So believe it or not, he's either got to grab or he's got to stand on the rope, stay right in front of the guy and move his head to make a miss. He can't use his legs. by bad intentions. <laughs> Devastating blow by bad intentions. I think it has come to that point. He's behind on the cards. He's just got to be. It's going to take a knockout to win this? Yeah, I think so. It's going to take a certain kind of attitude or strategy, a change in strategy. You go into the fights, you don't look for a knockout. You're looking to use your jab. You're looking to set up punches. You're looking to go rounds. Right now, he's got to find a way to get a knockout. Look for one punch. One big punch right now. Bad 
good tensions, he's got to find a way to pull things together here. Ever since he got tagged earlier in this fight, he hasn't been the same fighter. No, he hasn't, but he hasn't really had a chance to recover. You know, he needs a round, lose the round. Right now, his corner should tell him, look, lose the round, it doesn't matter. Just get yourself together. We'll pick him up later. We'll win rounds later. where he wants to be able to do some damage with his opponent backed up against the ropes. A crushing two-punch combo by Bad Intentions. Good block by Bad Intentions. <laughs> Holy cow! Bad Intentions is down! First man to go down so far tonight! Somehow, some way, he's gonna continue on here. And if he's gonna stay in this fight, now he's gonna avoid this opponent like the Black Plague. And a well-placed counter by Bad Intentions. there a round in which we did see the knockdown and Teddy when a fighter comes back to the corner having just been floored typically how are they acting what are you seeing on that just imagine you just walked into a room and somebody hit you from behind you dropped you're afraid to go in that room again so put a light on in that room and explain to him why he got dropped he will not be afraid to go back in that room find an answer here because he's just too defensive after going down earlier. You know, it's a funny thing. He's gotten a taste of his own medicine because usually him make you miss and he'll counter back. He'll make you pay. Well, he missed earlier and he paid and he hasn't gotten over that. Intentions is showing you a little defensive skill there. I will move away from that punch. Wow, just sit back and enjoy this one. You can tell both guys are so determined to give everything they have here tonight. So it's like the first time you heard Ray Charles sing God Bless America. You knew it was special. You knew you hadn't heard it before. I haven't seen anything like this before. Missed by bad intentions. <laughs> Able to dismiss it. What about his opponent in a spot like this? I mean, here you got to your guy earlier, you did some damage, but now he's fighting with such a defensive style, it can be frustrating. Yeah, it can be, but you have to make the adjustment. You're going to deal with styles like this. This is part of your education, part of your development to go up that boxing ladder. Now you have to find a way to get to him while he's being defensive. Still use your jab, you know, close that gap, put your punches together more, and start banging that body a little bit extra. Well off the mark by bad intentions. Well placed counter punch by bad intentions. Well, this was a very, very good fight. Close, 
Ladies and gentlemen, tonight the judges have reached a split decision. Your winner, the Intention. is your winner by a split decision, Teddy. I'm not so sure that I was watching the same fight as the judges, but hey, they're the ones who get the final say. So a two-to-one split among the judges here ringside. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. That does it ringside. We'll see you soon.